I wrote 17 roast jokes out. Okay. Okay. I had a date last night and I canceled it because I wanted to dedicate time writing these jokes. NFTs are single-handedly going to liberate comedians and artists and filmmakers, right? We are going to be taking control of our content and our finance and our careers. Mona, let's jump right in. Let's roast oh, crypto. Gosh. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name's Austin with stand-up comedian Mona Shake, who I'm doing an event with. Aaron and I will be at Web3 as a Joke Friday the 16th in Santa Monica. Link down below. Going to be a huge event if you love comedy, if you have love N NFTs. Mona, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. So why you, so you've been into crypto, you were a stand-up, and then you got into crypto. Now you're merging the two worlds. Yes, that's right. I feel like, you know, I feel like um I feel like comedy is an outlier in many ways and I feel crypto currently is an outlier and I feel like that felt like a similar kind of synergy in these two worlds. Um also um you know I think maybe uh, a lot of people, a lot of comedians maybe don't understand this uh, from the kind of business aspect of it, but NFTs are single-handedly going to liberate comedians and artists and filmmakers, right? We are going to be taking control of our content and our finance and our careers. Right now, we rely on YouTube and you know Instagram and TikTok to determine the worth of our content. But NFTs are single-handedly going to change all that. And I am super duper excited the moment the technology evolves a little bit further and kind of simplifies for mainstream adoption, because, um, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't know, like stand-up comedy, unlike acting, doesn't have um, an HR. We don't have a union. Like comedians are not protected in any form or shape. Like we are constantly at the mercy of the bookers and the producers. And I just feel like what, you know, the blockchain technology is going to do for us and what NFTs are going to do for us um, is going to be really groundbreaking. And I'm like super duper excited about it. So that's why I wanted to be kind of ahead of the curve and learn everything I can. I definitely am no expert in any way uh, because so much of the time goes uh, spending on fixing my hair. As you can see, it's a lot of hair. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I am kind of taking the time to learn and to educate myself and wanted to, you know, really kind of delve into it. And what better way to kind of delve into it is by giving back to the community, you know? Who are your influences? Like comedians I really like, or, you know, back in the day, Anthony Jeselnik, still love him. Tim Dillon, new guy that I think is insanely hilarious. Who I love Tim Dillon. He's great. Yeah, He's awesome. He spoke at Bitcoin 2022 last year, 2021. Um, but when you started coming up, who are the people that you look up to and said, damn, I want to be funny like them? You know, um, my top two, hands down, have to be George Carlin and um, Chris Rock, hands down. Like, even before I became a stand-up com stand comic, like, I memorized Bigger and Blacker. Like, I memorized it by heart. Like, that's how much of an impact it had on me. So I feel like I always kind of really gravitated towards what George said, what Chris said. And, you know, if I can be even quarter as good as them, I'll die happy. And our audience can judge this Friday, the 16th in Santa Monica. Before we jump into the jokes, yeah. explain the event because we're in the event, but we're doing a panel portion where more education. You're the yeah. comedy, but there's also dinner and networking. What yeah. are the components? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this event is uh, happening, like you mentioned, on Friday, December 16th, 6.30 p.m. at Famecast in Santa Monica. It's called Mona and Friends. Web3 is a joke. And uh, the objective with this is because I wanted to do an educational and entertaining and in a, in a networking event. So 6.30 p.m., it's a red carpet event. People come in, walk the red carpet. Austin, you're, I know you're going to like look dapper and amazing as always, right? I, I know that. You're going to actually take a shower that day and show up. And I have so much faith in you. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Well, at least Aaron would. So exactly. He will. He will for sure. Okay. Um. Then at 7.30, you guys are going to be part of the panel. So you're part of the panel. Aaron's part of the panel. Uh, the amazing crypto Wendy O is going to be part of the panel. Cheryl Lazar is going to be moderating. Uh, Phil Ranta, who's the COO now of We Are Verified. Do you know Phil Ranta? 
I don't. Look he's forward wonderful. to meeting him. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. You're going to love him. Um, and then it's going to be followed. Uh, we're going to have a Q&A. Then it's going to then it's going to be followed by a stand up comedy show. I'm going to be hosting. Um, we have two hilarious comics, uh, Francisco Ramos, who just came back from Just for Laughs. He was um, and yeah, he's going to be one of the comics and uh, Erica Rhodes, another hilarious comic. Of, you know, I love these guys. Um, and Erica Rhodes has like two comedy albums on like comedy dynamics right now. And um, we have DJ Red from 93.5 K-Day. I don't know how much of a K-Day fan you are, but I am. It's a whole old school hip hop. I'm a big, big fan. Austin's like, oh yeah, that's what I used to listen to in Ohio. Like that's- Yeah, exactly. The, yeah, that was that was it. I, I wake up to that. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic networking event. Um, we got- artists we got filmmakers we got you know web three folks um and uh then people are going to be we have some awesome goodie bags can i say cannabis goodie bags can i say that hell yeah hell yeah oh, it's illegal oh, it's legal in california oh damn okay all right bring it on awesome all right fantastic we got amazing um sponsors we have amazing cannabis sponsors that have come and sponsored these fantastic goodie bags so austin you know everybody's gonna have a good time yes uh, we have sponsored drinks we have delicious food um and just all around a really really fantastic event that you don't want to miss i'm excited link down below and in preparation for this event i asked you to prepare some specific jokes on the crypto market yeah, this is yes, audience, you know, it's 11 a.m. a.m. in the morning. Think of this more as just like a test set. So give us your feedback down below. But Mona, let's jump right in. Let's roast oh, crypto. Gosh. The heat is on. The heat is on. No, it's and more going to be conversational. It's awkward. You know, it's awkward to ask you to do this in general. So everybody's, you know, <laughs> no worries. Listen. I just wrote these jokes like last night. Like I mentioned to you, I skipped something important to sit down and do this. So this clearly means a lot to me. So here we go. This is what I came up with. All right. You ready, Austin? Yes. Ready? Okay. All right. All right. Most people are super confused about crypto and what blockchain technology is. And I get it. I mean, I'm still learning about the space, but it turns out so were Voyager, Celsius, Three Arrow Capital, and now FTX. So they're all just learning the same way as I am. I'm going to come up with an exchange called the Houdini Exchange. Uh, we make your money disappear. Poof. That's, you know, what these exchanges have been doing. So that's what we're going to do. Accurate. Um, Accurate. Accurate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. As anyone who has a pulse um, and is following the news about FTX, and SBF debacle. SBF took those billions of dollars and got the FUD out of there. Okay. I mean, that's the kind of money you want to doubt for. Come on. These are these are jokes. They can't all be winners, Austin. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. These are jokes. These are jokes, people. Okay. I, also, my yeah. smile. Hey, this is You're great. Like, I'm laughing on the inside. Austin's <laughs> like, I'm laughing on the inside, Mona. Yeah, exactly. Um, also, uh, also, may I say, for someone like SBF being worth a billions and you can't afford some hair conditioner and a haircut, like, he looks like a fro bro, bro. Like, come on, dude. Get some conditioner in that freaking hair, okay? Boom. Roasted. Okay. All right, roasted. Also, forget the Taj Mahal. Talk about spending money for love. SBF let his mousy-looking girlfriend blow eight billion dollars of other people's money away carolyn must have an incredible mouth on her oh get your mind out of the gutter austin i was referring to her bj skills what were you talking about oh i don't know i mean her speaking skills atrocious bj skills right on point god bless you know good for her sam I mean, comment down below in the comment section if you want to your take on that sbf yeah sbf come on down in one of the viral videos, she was talking about using basic math to compute gains and losses. If that was the case, why isn't an Indian or Asian kid from middle school running crypto exchanges? I mean, I don't know if you heard, but we're really good at math. Um, I didn't get that memo. That's why I do this for a living. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, in the new Netflix show Wednesday, um, they should have hired Carolyn Ellison as the thing. 
that's just my take on that. Um, you haven't I haven't seen, seen the show. show. No. Okay. All right. Other people might have. All right. That's great, Austin. Um, some people have resting bitch face. Uh, Carolyn has resting I smell the fart face. Uh, probably the smell is coming from SBF shitting bricks for being called out on being a thief. So maybe that's what's happening. Oh, nice. Not for nothing. Gary Gensler looks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> he does. He does. While, he does. While SPF looks like he's got a permanent sea urchin on his head, doesn't he? Like all the swimming in the Bahamas. Now he just has a permanent sea urchin. Um, according to Wikipedia, SPF's net worth peaked at $26 billion. Yeah, but his puberty is still peaking. So that's very interesting to right. see. Um, SBF is vegan. Uh, how could you eat so healthy and be so out of shape at the same time? How does that even work? I mean, I know people are going to try to cancel me for this, but that piece of crap wiped out people's life saving. I mean, he really deserves what's coming his way. Okay. SBF claims to be vegan, but if he goes to prison, the inmates are definitely going to feed him a lot of their meat. Who am I kidding? He's not going to prison. He's bought immunity using his investors' money. Come on, people. Let's be real. Come on. Okay. Come on. Let's be real. By the way, who comes up with these crypto uh, terms? Uh, I mean, I thought NFT stood for uh, non fossil titties. That's what I thought, right? Uh, like the ones SBF has. Uh, they're definitely bigger than Caroline's, though. Um, it's hard to miss those bitch tits. It really is. Um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, terms like moon, mooning. I thought it was when you showed someone your bare ass. That's what I thought it was. Uh, terms like pump and dump. Isn't that just every teenage boy hitting puberty's average Friday night? Isn't that what that is? Um, also metaverse. You know how many virgin nerds are about to have girlfriends in the virtual world they will never be able to touch? Um much like in real life, actually, much like in real life, only their girlfriend in real life is their right hand. So, so there's that. In all reality, though, they may they say like meek shall inherit the earth, but I really believe that nerds are going to inherit the earth. That's really what I believe. You know, whenever you go to these uh, crypto mansion parties, uh, there are three types of people. Three tri types of people: bros, hot girls, and nerds. That's it. That's the entire joke. There's nothing else to it. Uh, um, ideally, uh, I would more of an observation. Ideally, I would love to see a metaverse of U.S. and foreign presidents uh, in a wet T-shirt contest. That's really what I would love to see. Um, imagine like Trump and Putin together uh, as Trump slips out of Putin's ass uh, and ends up in prison, which he's going to. I can't wait. <laughs> it's so great. It's going to be so great. Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious if Satoshi turns out to be someone like Elle Woods from Legally Blonde? That would be hilarious. Like, I would pay Bitcoin to watch that movie, okay? I mean, what asked, how did you come up with Bitcoin? She's like, what? Like, it's hard. <laughs> um, the exact words SBF used right before he fucked his investors. So that's uh, that's what happened. Too I soon. Too soon. Yeah, too soon. Too soon. I, I, too late, actually. Too late, Austin. That's Thank happening. you. Thank too you. Late. Too late. Um, I must confess, uh, I'm definitely diamond hands when it comes to crypto. Uh, and by that, I mean, uh, I can't afford diamonds because all my money goes in putting on events and shows like Web3 is a joke. Uh, so I can tell some jokes and get the validation my parents never gave me. So that's kind of where my life's at. Um, there might be some people who might say, I went too far today. Mona, you went too far but not as far as screwing people out of their money like crypto crooks like SBF. Um, these are just jokes, people. You're gonna be okay. Um, I believe in blockchain technology and I believe crypto is the future. The end. Guys, throw a comment down below. Mona, Thanks. not easy. Uh, not an easy setting to do comedy, but I loved it. I'm excited for Friday. Well, thank you. Final thoughts. Um, come to Web3 as a joke. Come, if you're in Los Angeles, come watch Austin. He's going to be uh, moonwalking the red carpet, which he's never done anywhere, by the way. Never. never Now's never the time, done. though. Now's the time. Now is the time. So I really, uh, well, Austin, you're going to be there. Aaron's going to be there. But I hope your followers are going to come and uh, watch us and watch you in action and uh, get to enjoy some of our comedy and uh, mingle and have a great time. So those are, those are my final thoughts. Going to be great. Can't wait.